In this video, we're going to look at the NHS website for care and support services. First, go to the NHS website. And we've previously looked in the last few videos at all of the other services that you can use on this website, such as the Health A to Z, Live Well and Mental Health Support. Today, we'll look at the care and support section. This is, is, this is for you or someone you know who might need help with day-to-day -day living if they have an illness or disability and this website can help explain your different options and show you where you can get support. Again, there's lots of different sections available on here. We'll look at a few of them today. The first is an introduction to care and support and this is a guide for people who have care and support needs and for their carers as well. To open this section, just click and it'll take you and open up a new page. This is to help you find out more information and for your carers so that they can find out where you can get help from too. It'll give you a list of information, so what is social care and support. This will describe whether this is the right page for you or not. That will show you the different types of services available, for, exa for example, having a paid carer, meals on wheels or getting any special adaptive equipment for your house to make it safer. If you need any help or advice, there's helplines and forums that you can use. If you wanted to access those, if there's a blue link, just click and it'll take you and open up a new page with all of the different uh, support services and helplines. There's lots and lots of information on there so that you can make sure you get the right help needed for you. If you press the back arrow, it'll take you back to the previous section. And again, looking down, you can see that it carries on giving you more information about all of the different aspects of care and support, whether that's for yourself or if you are a carer. If we go back, we'll look at a different section. If, for example, you needed any care services equipment, including adaptations for your home, this could help things make things a lot easier at home for you. If you open this section, care services and equipment, you'll find information about different adaptations you can have for your home, either help from a carer or whether you can get free housing or not. Having this information is available to make your life as easy as possible. If, for example, you look at household gadgets and equipment, if you need any and you're accessing, not accessing any, accessing any services, you can open up this section, have a look at the different things that are available and find out if they would be relevant to help you. If you look down, you can see that all of the different information that's on there, you can also contact people so that they can give you a description and help you figure out what it is you might need. For example, if you need to get help from your local council, again, you can click a blue link and this will take you to a different page. So this is apply for a home assessment and this would take you to the right page for you to find out if you can book a home assessment and find out if any of your needs can be met. And again, if we go back, that'll take us back to the NHS website. There's lots and lots of sections available, not only just adaptations for your home or help and support. There's also help with looking at money, work and benefits, care for after you've been in hospital and information on carers assessments and support so that we can make sure you get all the support that you need.